you, Medic. Hey guys, it's Destry, and welcome back to the video series about Reason. Last time, we kind of checked out this little fucker right here called Redrum. And uh, if you have not seen that video, then here's a little annotation to go check that out. So do that if you have not seen the first video. In the first video, we made a beat that sounds somewhat like this. And uh, today we're going to kind of be talking about Dr. Rex Loop Player. Once you create your Dr. Rex Loop Player, it'll come up with this little blue thing right here. Um, and so basically what Dr. Rex is, it just plays loops. And uh, you're able to make loops in another program called Recycle, which is also made by Propeller Heads. Um, when you buy Reason Standard, it actually comes with a lot of loops that you can use. For example, the one that I had put in this song is this. Which is just like a really nice house beat. Um, there's tons of other ones though. Let's see, if we press this folder icon, um, it will load up probably, it might load up this, but if you press the folder icon, it will most likely load up um, the Reason Factory sound bank. And once you get to the Reason Factory sound bank, you'll notice that Dr. Rex has drum loops, instrument loops, percussion loops, and then there's another one called music loops, which you're able to get Dr. Rex files from as well. Um, Today we're just going to be kind of focusing on drum loops, uh, and so in this you'll notice that there are lots of hip hop, acoustic, chemical, dub, you know, electronic, but today we're going to be focusing on house beats, so if we press here on house, um, the one that I had loaded up was this one right here. So when you finally load up a beat that you want, uh, mine being this, in order to get this sample onto this track here, all you really need to do is press this button to track. Now what this does is it drags out um, the sample that you just had loaded up here um, onto the timeline so that it's easy for sequencing. For example, if I wanted it to build in and have it just kind of start off like this, Okay, so you notice that it kind of is more progressive that way. So um, Dr. X does allow you to do a lot of things uh, as far as sequencing goes and whatnot. Um, but that is not all Dr. X is used for. You can also mess around with a lot of these knobs. The one that I mess around with, I'd say the most, is this transpose wheel, which makes the pitch higher or lower. So for example, uh, this is the normal sound of this drum beat, but you can also make it or it really just depends on what kind of sound you yourself are going for. You notice that it also has the wheel, but I just prefer to kind of click on the notes themselves. Also, what you can do is this kind of wavelength form right here, uh, you notice that as we slide it along the thing, this slice thing kind of changes as well. So what you can do with the individual slices of this waveform, if we wanted to, is to take one of these slices and turn the pitch up or down, depending on what we wanted to do. Um, so for example, this would sound like this. Did you hear that really high pitch thing? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd want that in my song, but I'm just saying like you could do a lot of stuff with Dr. Rex as far as loops go. And of course, there's always the octave wheel, which... <laughs> that sounded ridiculous. There's a lot of other stuff that comes standard in most synthesizers that you'll find on Reason. Um, the frequency and resolution filter, which um, we'll get into later. And of course the attack, decay, sustain, you know, whatever, whatever. As far as Dr. Rex, that is honestly the most that I have ever done with it, is just kind of loaded up a pre-sampled loop and then just put it in my song for some filler or just to beef up a beat. So yeah, it just kind of gives you good ideas um, of where you want your song direction to go. Yeah, so that would be the second video on the series about Reason covering Dr. Rex. Um, join me next time when we will talk about Subtractor, the analog synthesizer. Kind of getting into more synthesizer creation, um, note patterns, etc. So join me next time on Unetic and thank you for watching.